Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be putting together an off the mat Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is sort of like a different beast because it's so circular, right? So if you think about something that's circular, it's the same, you know, it's a diameter, right? So top to bottom, left to right, it's just big. So if you go big one way, you go, you're, you're going big all around, right? So normally when we slice something, let's say something really slender, um, but it's tall and slender, then I only have to cut it in half, right? Because it's so slender, it'll fit on a 12 by 12, and then I have a top and a bottom. Hello Kitty, not so big, and still it's in four pieces. So I'm gonna show you that today. Um, but I wanted to show you, these are not off the mat, these smaller ones, um, I mean, there's, it's just so cute. So I usually don't bling out a lot of things, so I just wanted to show you, we will be blinging out the nose on this big one. The big one is about 18 inches, but look how cute these little, they look like little purses almost. So this one, I just wanted to show you, we, you know, I did the bling on the big circle and the nose um, just because I wanted to. And then on these, these two smaller ones, they were so small that the little pieces in here, I couldn't layer it without cutting up the foam tape and it was like so much of an issue that I didn't bother with it. So I ended up adding bling and just letting it sink in, but because there's some bling to it, it still pops out. So I just thought these were so stinking cute. So I just wanna show you what the series looks like, but we are gonna be putting together the big one today. All right, I'm back. Okay, this is a little bit off right now. Don't worry about it. We're going to just piece, layer all these pieces first and knowing that, you know, we wanna layer. So let's add those pieces, add the foam tape, add the glue. Um, we'll bling out the nose at the end only because I think that's gonna take a long time and I don't really wanna waste time on that because you're just gonna be watching me bling it out. Now. One of the things though I wanted to show you is in this piece, the, the four black pieces in the back, I did end up using black glitter cardstock. Um, there is a little seam coming through. So I wanted to show you this because it's important. When you're doing off the mat, what, I mean the whole goal is to make something really big, but, but for it to look uh, seamless and kind of like amazing, right? Like you don't think that something can, that big can be made out of paper. Well, you need to then also um, take advantage of any place where we can, you know, kind of trick people. So if you can see, there is a seam running right down the nose right here. So you can see it right here. So what we're gonna do is you just cut the same circle, but we're gonna put this down. So it's gonna sit like this, right? So here's our black piece. It's gonna sit like this over the seam. So now the face really looks seamless. In the face where the eyes are, the eyes are cute and adorable by itself. The nose is gonna have a little bling on it, no seam running through, and the bow, right? So everything that's center, even though, you know, she's pretty much like a circle, everything kind of like in the center and going almost all the way to the edge is going to be seamless. The only place that you're going to see seams and you're not really gonna notice it is over here, for instance. There's gonna be a little seam right here, but you're not gonna really notice it because the white's gonna cover most of the seams leading up to it and it's just gonna be a little bit right here. And that's kind of what we wanna do is we wanna make the seams go all the way to the edge and that's the only place that we're gonna have the seams. And that's why it was important to me on this one I did cheat. Um, this one is on a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. It's white. And even using 12 by 24, I couldn't even make it that big because again, it's a, you know, it's a circle. So even though I sliced it one way, the other way still needs to be kind of slender. So that's why it's only about 18 inches uh, wide. All right, so let's get started. Have your foam tape out. Now the thing with, um, so this, actually, let me show you. Um, I don't know if you can totally see it on here because it's not super noticeable, but I noticed it. <laughs> so it annoyed me and I'm kind of annoyed that I did that to myself, but actually it's an easy fix. All I need to do is recut this piece, but I put foam tape underneath, right? So that there's just layers, oops, 
so that it's not so like flat but I ended up using a hot glue gun on the white and you can see actually where it just torched the it it warped the paper a little bit so there's a little bit there and a little bit here so I'm super annoyed that I did that I'm actually now that you know we're talking um, I'm just gonna recut this white because I think I have enough white somewhere um, I'll just recut it and put that on top and so you won't see it but the point is with this thick this is glitter cardstock from uh ground up creations so it's 300 gsm i can use a hot glue gun and no one's going to know the difference okay <laughs> um what i've noticed with the foam tape from the dollar tree is that um it does if I'm not careful it does peel up a little bit so I'm not like a huge huge fan right so let me grab scissors I'm actually gonna use uh, a roll from Amazon just because this, these are big pieces and I don't really want to spend all that time peeling off the foam squares but with these pieces I'm always worried so I do like to add a little bit of glue while we're at it to make sure that it's really stuck down there. So I have my glue gun over here. I'm just going to hit it on the side and a little bit on top. I know, I'm super paranoid. Um, I'm gonna put this on right on top. Right, and we're just creating little layers because little layers, little layers, it all adds up and then it comes out to be a super, super cool project. So I'm just gonna layer it right here and another piece here. Add my glue. And I'm gonna add one more layer that I'm not gonna peel off yet because we'll put that at the end. But because this is not quite as thick as my foam squares, I can do one more layer here, the last layer that's sitting on the black, okay? So just be careful. The first time that I did those, I used the, um, the foam squares and uh, this was too many layers. Like it was too thick and it looked weird to me. All right, so this one's done. We're gonna put it to the side. Let's do the next piece. Um, same thing, nothing crazy right now. Um, this is an actually fairly easy piece to do, right? Not a lot of pieces, um, super recognizable and super, super cute. Let's peel off two. Stick a little bit of glue gun. Same thing with this piece. I don't know what that is. All right. So the bow is almost done. I'm just going to move it out of the way. Let's do the circle of the bow. Same thing. Now with these adhesives, with any adhesive, um, what you should be doing is putting a lot of pressure on it to activate the stickiness and to get it to anchor to your piece. Now, I'm doing that and adding the glue, so I feel like we've got really good, like this thing is not going anywhere. So here's our, right, just a little bit, a little bit of depth. And it's going to make it, you know, um, it's gonna help in just not having a really flat piece of cardstock project. All right, so that's done. Let's look at the rest of this. I have stuff under here 
This is the rest of the bow. Mm, wrong piece. Let me get these out of the way. We're almost done. Okay, we've got this and then the background and then the face is really only two pieces. So let's do uh, foam squares on this. Oh, we can't do foam squares. You know why? Because then it's gonna come out uneven. So for these, we are going to have to cut the foam tape. Otherwise, the two outer layers of the bow is gonna be shorter than if we use foam tape here. Oops, I just kicked that underneath. So for ground up creations, if you're interested in buying, um, the cardstock is really beautiful. So definitely it's thick, it's 300 GSM. It photographs really well. Um, you can buy on Amazon. So I have the link to my Amazon or you can buy straight from their website. If you buy straight from their website, you can get an additional 10% using my um, using my code. So all of that is listed in the description, but you can also always go to my website. I have a link on my website for all my affiliate links. Oh shoot, I didn't wanna pull that off yet. All right, I'm gonna leave that on. <laughs> That's gonna go like that in the bow, right? Oh geez. And then we have just one more little piece over here. So let's turn those over, cut three little pieces, and then we're gonna start assembling. The other thing I like about Ground Up Creations is there's a um, range of blues, like just some different colors. So I like Cricut, so don't get me wrong, I like Cricut's glitter cardstock, especially because they're almost always running a sale, right? And if you get it on sale, usually you can get it for half off. So then it becomes really, really affordable. But they drive me insane because the colors aren't always in stock. So if you need something, there were a couple colors that I literally waited a whole year for it to come back into stock. So um, yeah. I don't think that we can really do that. That's not a best practice, you know, for someone who's trying to craft all year long <laughs> and pop up at a project all the time. All right, so this is done. Let's look at this black background, okay? So I'm gonna pull this aside. Let's put this little piece on here. So we're just gonna cover up the nose and this will be easy. We can just use tape. So actually, let me pull out my scotch tape. Okay. So now that's gonna cover any seams that go through here. And I would do the same for the eyes if there were seams going through the eyes, but I know there are not. So that's why I put that aside. Okay, so this is the black background, it's super simple. It's just four pieces like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna tape it from behind. So when you're taping, and this is whether it's a small off the mat or a large off the mat, I always do it the same way. I use scotch tape, I lift one side up and I push it against the other side so that I'm getting it to be as seamless as possible as I tape it up. So that right there is like tight. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it the same down here. It's most important at the edges because if you remember Hello Kitty's face, the white is gonna cover like 90% of this. Where you're gonna see the seams is at the edge. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that at the edge that it doesn't move because when it moves, the seam will catch a little bit of light and that's when your eyes will notice the seam. So if you tape as close as you can to the edge, that will uh, eliminate that problem. All right, so these two pieces, same thing. Lift one side up, push the other one in, and I'm gonna tape kind of 
towards the, I mean, I know that's not the middle, but I'm gonna redo the seams up there. I'm gonna add some tape right now to do the seams to address the edge. So I'm super close. Okay, then we're gonna put these two pieces together with these two pieces. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is, I just dropped my tape. Um, I'm pushing this piece right here with my thumb. I'm pushing this one against this one and I'm gonna tape it right now. Then I'm gonna do the same to this side as I tape it down. So push it up as much as I can. Okay, and then I'm gonna tape it right, I mean, this part doesn't matter because if you think about it, the white's gonna cover it, right? But what I wanna do is, again, go to the edge, get that seam down, and then go to this edge and get that seam down. Oh, my tape went over the edge. I don't want that. Okay. So I'm gonna flip this over. You can't even see this one. This one, you can't see either. You can see this, but you're not going to in a second when I put this down. So when I put this down, the edges that are left is right here. And luckily I'm gonna just tilt it up so it covers this little piece right here. Then this covers this little edge right here. I'm gonna plop that in, plop this in. So for this off the mat, there's a seam here, you can't even notice it. There's a seam up here. I wouldn't say I would notice that either. And definitely I can't even see the bottom one. So it looks pretty good, right? Okay, so let's, um, let's move these pieces. Let's flip this one over and put some foam tape on this one. And we wanna be really gentle with this because white, this is regular white cardstock and so it's going to show if you press down too hard or any of that stuff. So in hindsight, if you wanted to, you could always cut another layer of white and just put like um, the Tombow sticky, you know, runner tape. And that way you don't really like damage any paper. Okay, so I'm pushing this down. And then what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna get my Barely Art glue and kind of glue it down because I don't want to use my hot glue gun on this because the white paper is too thin and it will a little bit show through on the other side and I don't want that. So I'm just going to make sure this stays down. All right, I think that's enough. Close up that glue, flip this over, line this up. Gently, <laughs> gently push it down. Okay, that's down. Let's do this little guy. And I wanna push on it now to activate the stickiness to the white piece. I'm not gonna push down that hard, so I do want some glue on this. I wanna make sure that it's stuck. And then half of this piece is gonna be half glue, half sticky tape. All right. 
So I'm putting this down so that we know where all the pieces go. So as we do one piece, the other pieces will stay in there. So that, um, so right now all that looks good. I'm just checking the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this one first. So on this, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna dot this with the hot glue gun. And then I'm gonna put this down. So that's good. All right, let's do this one. Same thing with this one. I'm going to do the glue gun down here. Oh, jeez. My glue gun has been dripping. It's been so annoying. All right, so I'm going to put this down. and make sure I like it while I can still adjust. And then this one I'm gonna adjust down like this, I think. Okay, so it looks good. Let's do this. Um, let me get more a glue stick for my glue gun. All right, so now we're gonna do the outer pieces. But now, now it's easy, right? Because the three in the middle are set. So let's pull this off. I hate when the glue gun, like, the glue stick hasn't, you know, like, I don't know, gotten like in cue. <laughs> Drives me insane. All right, so that looks good. Okay, then last piece. cute okay so she's totally on except for the nose and the nose I'm gonna do at the end so right now I'm actually gonna show you because I think the bling part is gonna be a little boring because okay let's talk it through though in case you decide to get off <laughs> the nose we're gonna do the same thing we're going to on this one actually I think I'm gonna use the the foam squares so it's gonna pop up like this and then the top layer, I'm going to do the rhinestones. So similar to the other one. But what I'm going to show you right now is how to do the, bl the black uh, foam board in the back so that this can stand propped up. So what you want to do is, oops, and how did I get, oh man, look at my little rhinestones. They were open. So let me get this out of the way real quick before I lose some more. Okay, I'll close that up. And I'm gonna do the nose. I wanted to use this one. It's like a champagne color. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so foam board from the Dollar Tree because you can't beat it. It's a buck and it's a huge board. Um, as you can see, I already cut some of this stuff. It's for It was for the smaller ones, okay? So here it is. What you wanna do is you wanna grab a white pencil and we're just gonna trace the outside of this. And we're gonna cut inside the white lines. So, and I'm not going to cut around these pieces. I'm actually just going to let those hang out. And part of the reason is because, well, they're thin and I use the 300 GSM 
cardstock for a reason, uh, well, for two reasons, to hide the seams because I feel like this piece is so minimal, right? I didn't want the seams on the edge to be distracting. Plus, we're blinging it out. It's, you know, it looks good with the black glitter cardstock. That's one reason. The second reason was I wanted the whiskers to be kind of tough um, so that I didn't have to um, put the foam board behind it. So I'm really going to cut almost like an oval shape, okay? I want to cut inside the white lines up here. I also want to cut inside the white lines down here. But down here, I'm really going to be along that edge because I want this Hello Kitty right here to sit on that foam board, okay? So let me move this aside. Let's start cutting. Important things about cutting out the foam board. Have a really sharp blade. So I'm using uh, the Excel blade. I love it. Um, I don't have an affiliate link or, or anything like that. I just love their products. So um, you can go, they're on, they're on um, Instagram. You can go through that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this. What you wanna do is, one, you wanna have a really sharp blade. Two, you wanna cut in smooth strokes. So I'm not saying you have to cut all this in one stroke, but for every stroke, it's gonna end. So this is what I mean. I'm gonna cut this bottom one first, okay? So I'm gonna go straight in from here, from the edge, and I'm going to try to kiss that white line, okay? And I went all the way to the edge. So that's a smooth line. So this cut is gonna be smooth, okay? So I'm gonna move this aside. Now when we get up here, I don't need to have support to the edge, right? As long as Hello Kitty is like 90% covered, the piece is gonna be, is gonna hold up well. Um, but we need this, if it's gonna be sitting on a table, we need this to support the paper, which is another reason why it's good to use glitter cardstock because it can handle, you know, it's just sturdier. So, all right, let's finish cutting this. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go more inside because I just don't want this to show at all. So you see that was a smooth cut. See, it's smooth on the edge. Okay, the other thing is, you notice I'm cutting straight on my self-healing mat. It, this, the self-healing mat, it, I, I love it. It's definitely something that you need to have in the craft room. How quick was that, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna bring her back. I wanna make sure that I cut well, that nothing is showing. And I'm sort of, you know, I'm trying to get it so that the foam board is right at the edge. So this looks like it's right at the edge. There's like a little piece sticking right here. I kind of knew it. That was where I came in from the cut, if you remember. So I'm gonna just, there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up a little bit and I'm gonna add glue right here. Just so that I'm down, I'm anchored down in one place, okay? Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add glue to here and then I'm going to lift this up and start adding glue like this so that I get top to bottom, okay? So I want to get this ear down though, so I'm just going to lift this up. And I don't want to bend too much, right? Because I don't want to make any, um, I don't want to ruin the paper at all. And the bow is right here, and these are big pieces. So I just want to get it down. And then the rest of this, I'm going to make sure that, I mean, with the glue that we're putting down, this piece isn't going anywhere. All right, so I'm going to lift this up. So 
So you see it's standing on its own. I think I want to put a little bit of foam tape right here. Okay, so it's down, yay. All right, I'm gonna put the first nose down just so that it's done. Okay, I was gonna use this. So stinking cute. <laughs> All right, so we still have time. I am going to now bling this thing out. So I am not good at blinging. I don't have a lot of experience with it. And I didn't really, I have to admit, um, I didn't do a lot of research on how I should do this. So this is totally based on what I think I should be doing. I did the bling on the other ones. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start out with the biggest one I have, which is the number six. So the number six, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it smack in the middle, what I think is the middle. And then this is a nail, nail stone rind picker thingy. And it's got like um, a little like um, putty-ish so it can pick up the rhinestones. So I'm gonna do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, go smaller. So the next set I'm gonna go around is gonna be smaller stones. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down. This is barely art glue. It dries clear. It's what I used on the other ones. And you can see, I'm just gonna put down like this. And it's moving my center stone around. And then I'm gonna go with a smaller stone next. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back. And the next one is, I'm gonna go with the number two. It's gonna be a little bit smaller. This champagne color is so pretty, all right. So now I'm going to, um, I'm sticking it in between and then I'll, I'll reevaluate after we put that one in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I should look this up. The people who do tumblers, amazing work. Um, I don't know if I could, if I could do that because I feel like it's so big and you need to be perfect for so long that I don't think I can do it. Okay. Then I feel like there's some spots that I need to still use this size. So I'm gonna put it down now. And then I'm gonna go with a much smaller size, I think. This one's so pretty. Okay, so that covered up a lot. So actually, I think there's only like a few more spots that can hold this size. 
So I'm going to add them in here. I think it's just three. And then the rest I'm going to cover up in a smaller size. So let's do that. Now. Oh. Okay. Now let's go to, I think, size seven. I think I'll be able to get quite a bit of these. Okay. Oops. I love this packet from Amazon because you really do, you get like such a variety of size. So it's great for projects because you don't know what you need or how many. Okay, I might even need to go with a smaller size after that. We'll see how it looks. All right, let's start adding. I feel like the rest won't fit so I'm gonna need to go a smaller size and I'm gonna add a little bit more glue and then we're gonna fill in the rest with a much smaller set okay these are teeny tiny but I'm just gonna fill it in and put some more glue down And I think that's going to look really good. All right. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. It's starting to be hard to even... I slept with my contacts in, so I don't know if that's part of the problem. <laughs> between the glare and my contacts, maybe? All right, that looks good. And this rhinest nail rhinestone picker thingy was not expensive. So I highly recommend getting it because I can't imagine doing this with tweezers. Oh, shoot. And on the other side is like, um, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. It's just like a, it's not a super pointing end, but um, it gives you, you know, you can move the, the rhinestones around. All right, I think I'm gonna need this to dry before I can see if I need to make more adjustments to it. I feel like I can actually, I take it back. I see a couple more spots where I can fill it in. One more spot. How did I miss the glue on this spot right here? Okay. And then I think we're done. It's gonna look so good. Okay. Um, let's put this on. And I think because I used the double, I'm just going to put it straight on. Ah! <laughs> it looks so good. 
All right, let me put the rest of these little rhinestones in and then I'll flip it over. Although I'm a little scared about flipping it over. I'm just gonna pull it down and let everything dry. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. Give me a second, I'm gonna bring over the others. So cute. And there you have it, a whole family. <laughs> All right, uh, let me know what you think, what you wanna see, comments, questions. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.